Hey everybody and welcome to part 14 of Sly Cooper and the Devious Raccoonus. So, I found those two bottles. I somehow missed a very sparkly ledge down here, so... Yeah, since I can't die easily, I'll have to, um... Just, like, run all the way back to get the vault. But at least we found it finally, you know? At least we found it, and now we can say we've gotten 100% on every level so far. Luckily, once you leave a level, the bottle progress is saved, so you don't have to come back and, you know, collect every single one again. I had to look up a guide online, and the guide is terrible, because it literally does not tell you that there's, like, a little sneaky ledge. It's like, oh, just in this area. It's like, but there are other bottles in that area, so it's like, why would I backtrack there? So yeah, now we can go and do some more of like the other levels, like the racing level and stuff like that. I'll probably also make these uh, these episodes a lot longer now because we're almost finished. And like a lot of YouTubers, like you guys mentioned, do these episodes in like 30 to 40 minute parts. So I'll see what I can do for you guys. Okay? Like, I don't want it to be too crazy long because... Well, wait, why am I going the secret way? It's just like where goodies are. A lot of this level simply repeats itself, and I find that a nuisance. It's like, oh look, hook, same hook mechanic. Now I will admit, I'm not the best at Sly, but I still find the Swamp World the hardest for basic levels. Maybe not to find everything, but just to beat, you know? Yeah, to get that, we're going to need to destroy this. And this is actually just to be able to see everything. To enter the vault code. Yes, sir. Lucky you for you, I burst in chaos theory. Otherwise, this code would have been unsolvable. Oh, Info yeah? 932. 932. Seems simple enough, man. Wait, why am I going the wrong way? And there we go. This is just the ability to see all the bottles and breakables and stuff in this world. So, yay! We probably won't get a trophy. Snowy blueprints. Layer. Apparently, we do. I'll upload the data straight into your binocucom. And meeting the ancestors. I believe that's officially every upgrade in the entire game. Oh, I don't actually think you need to get a hundred percent in this game to get the platinum, because like the time trials, I believe, count to, towards getting a hundred percent. But in reality, they're not really that. You know, useful for anything else. Okay. I calculated the trajectory of these No, we've and already seen this. I'm I apologize, guys. Sure you'll be able to ride them all the way to the top of that statue before they explode. Mm. And the other one percent. That other one percent. Well, in that case, Sly, you will be blown to bits. But the experience will no doubt be spectacular. Nice. Now, to unlock these rockets, you're going to need all seven of the Panda King's treasure keys. Right on. I'll steal them in no time. Well, let's go do them. Oh, number one. Let's go do this. I assume none of these levels are going to actually be official levels then. Like, you know, full-out levels. A desperate race. Let's do it. Oh look, it's just the van. Yay! Murray, what are you doing down there? Well, I'm minding my post when I notice a snow cone stand and I think to myself, Hey Murray, you gotta keep your energy up. So I hurry over here and then all of a sudden, monkeys are everywhere! Bugging me to race them three times around this track for a key! We could use the key. Think you could take them? Come on, Sly, they're a pack of monkeys. How can I lose? All right, remember, steer with the left stick and press square to use any nitro boost you collect. Keep clear of those icy patches. Thanks for the advice, Sly, but trust me, I got this under control. Okay. Like, I find it funny that you don't have to push X for anything, you know? Woohoo! Hopefully we don't have to backtrack and earn that backtrack. Redo any of this. I really hate the races in this game. A lot of people do. I do find them kind of clunky and sloppy compared to other games, like Crash and Spiral, for instance. 
The snow slightly slows you down, but the ice makes it so you can't steer. So with all due respect, it can be a little annoying. Wait. Why does that say out of... Oh, wait. That's just my place. I'm like, why does it say I'm 2 out of 5? I really find that these icy patches really do too much. I think they did fix it up for the PS3 though, because I believe the PS2 was really difficult. Like, as from watching people play the PS2 version of it. Alright, and there's the checkpoint, or I guess like... Oh, God damn it! That might cost me the race. Woohoo! I mean, I'm not having a difficult time here. I get why it's called a desperate race, though. Like, I don't get why it's desperate. It doesn't seem like we got into here because of anything desperate either. Nice that was day. easy. Now, go get that key. For sure. And there we go. I'm hoping that's the last race in the game. I have a feeling it's not, but at the same time, it's like, well. Other than that, what collectibles are there to get? We might actually be able to finish off this entire world in this episode. Which is going to be nice. So, we need two more keys. Well, actually, one more key. I, th I thought I said we had five. Clearly three. Oh, wait, no, never mind. There's two over here. Rapid Fire Assault and Duel by the Dragon. Okay, wait, if we have all the upgrades, then what are those? Wait, why am I on that? Why the hell am I on that attack? Oh my god, I hate the sneaking around so much. Like, I know we don't have to, but... It makes things so much easier. And here we go! This is the rapid fire assault. He just blows open the door. Come on, Sly. And it's literally just like a panda temple. This vehicle Ooh. is identical to the one you found in Ms. Ruby's lair. Someone with some serious high-tech skills must be providing these guys with hardware. The oh, it's the anoxic. Okay. Apparently you just shut up after I did that. At this rate, this one doesn't look that bad. Oh, hey, monkey. Is this gonna give me a life? Yeah, I kinda wanted to just to make sure I got protection if I lost it, but... Eh, oh well. It's not gonna happen anytime soon. Oh, we got carpets. This kinda reminds me of, uh, what, Rowley's place or whatever it was? Oh god, what is that? Man, that doesn't sound exciting, man. Oh, apparently I can't do anything there, but whatever. Man, this does not seem that overall that difficult. Or I'm just getting in the groove of this game again or something. I could have sworn I should have been... There we go. Shut down the middle one. Just gotta shut down the left and right ones. But I got hit there for a second. Could you imagine if there was like a like a way to prevent you from um, taking enemy damage? Like since fall damage and water damage no longer exist. There we go. Now we just gotta worry about one. One and done. That was fairly simple. Looks like we're not staying in the fireworks factory. Oh, wait, is that the first checkpoint? I think it is. Wait, are we gonna get the... Yeah, I kinda assumed we get these guys since we're outside. Just felt like another spot to throw them in for the game. Whoa, snowball. Hang on, my computer's trying to fall asleep. Don't want it to fall asleep while recording. It only does it when I use my PBR, though. Like, when I record, 
emulator games, it doesn't do that. When I actually record on the console, it does that. A lot of people thought I was actually recording these on consoles. I mean, not on consoles, on the emulator. I'm like, these aren't emulator at all. Oh, apparently I can destroy these for minimal coins. That's not bad, then. Snowball monkeys. Oh, we actually took some damage there. I guess now we can abuse collecting some of these coins. Oh god, these ones bounce. Well, I guess this is because of the wall, but... Eh. Either way. I just want to get my coins back. That's why I'm actually destroying all these things. So I can get my extra health back. There we go. Because I believe this is, yep, just the key right here. Wow, this is easy. A little bit annoying, but simple. And there we go, there's the key. Perfect. I don't even think the boss fight's hard here. Is hard here. Jeez Louise, I can't talk today. I'm actually having fun playing this game. Probably because it's a snowy level and I absolutely love snowy levels. But, eh. Uh... So, no, this is a desperate race. We've already done this one. I believe. Wait, no, the other one's up there. Okay. And to get there, we're going to need to. Oh, just, just climb this. And this should be Duel by the Dragon. Sounds good to me. This honestly sounds more like a boss level than just a regular level. Let me guess, 40. Yes, sir, we got 40. I was just waiting for there to be a level that's 40. I'm assuming this is like the rest of the fireworks here. Hey, what's. Oh, these are just the blue fireworks, just for money. Get up there, Sly. Thanks, man. Okay, I am being very cautious with what Freeze, to look for. Raccoon. How can I oh. my heart warms at the very sight of you? Shut up, Ringtail. I don't know what you're doing here in China, but I'm sure it can't be good for whoever owns this place. You must only have eyes for me if you're too blind to see what's going on around here. All I see is a pathetic thief who's escaped justice for far too long. I'm proud to be a thief, especially when I'm stealing from a vicious extortionist like the Panda King. Open your eyes, detective. These quaint temples are a front for an illegal explosives factory. Don't try to confuse the issue. You criminals are all the same, and none of you can escape justice. Well, figure out what type of level it's going to be. I haven't had one of these since Mesa City. So I kind of figured it would show up eventually. Oh, hang on. Got more goodies down here. Ooh, lots of coins, just in case we take some more damage. It shouldn't be too hard to get 100% on one of these levels. Oh, well, thank you for destroying stuff. The annoying part is you gotta seriously wait for stuff, so it's like, oh. How did you miss that bottle up there, Sly? We're almost halfway done. I think the shots get increased in speed when we use that ability. Oh, that didn't really work out the way I wanted it to, but it still did what I wanted it to. I don't know what that, that firework was for. Okay, now I don't think there's any bottles back there. Okay, she can destroy stuff and give us coins. That's cool. Now, a lot of people have, like, issues with this. Like, they're very scared of these type of levels, but I find them fairly easy. actually enjoy them. The Carmen Lee the Fox levels. There we go. And that opened up the gate for us. Well, it turns the gate into a bridge, pretty much. I keep getting an itchy nose, and it's like, don't want an itchy nose for this level, man. Oh, wait, no, there's bottles down here. Normally, they're out of the way of, like, the, the place you're supposed to go. Wait, was it actually supposed to come down here? Oh, wait, 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 no, never mind. We, we couldn't get up there if we wanted to. Let's see how this is gonna be. 
is all just timing based. You're a very terrible shot with that. I am not gonna lie, Carmelita. Well, this time we actually have to wait for her to shoot. Ah! Just don't want to take any stupid damage. So many bottles. So little time. Hey! Can I at least have my platform back, thank you. Woo. Now we're just backtracking. Because we can't get up here because of the guard. Boom! Wow, there's a checkpoint. And there's the last two bottles, so. There we go! Easy 100%. Have we even taken any damage on from Carmelita at all in the game? Maybe like the second one? I don't think other than that she actually killed us at all. Woohoo! There we go. Unfortunately, this vault code appears to have been written in owl dialect. I won't be able to crack the code until we meet and defeat the bird who created it. Oh. Well, we can't come back for that one just yet, then. Well, now we might as well... Wait, does that mean we can come back to this level without having to deal with, uh, her? Watch there she goes. Back, Cooper. When you least expect it, I'll be there. Oh, you will, eh? Oh god, she's like falling down to her doom and the key just magically flies over to us. And there's the seventh key. Perfect. So we're not going to be able to get the 100% uh, on this world just yet. It's an owl dialect. I wonder how hard it would be to read owl. Like, could you imagine being in a world where... God damn it. Can you just get out of there? Where animals, like, communicate with each other, though, but yet you need to know multiple languages. It's just crazy. And here we go. Now let's hitch a ride. It just waits for us to grab on. I like how it does that. It's like, yeah, we're not going anywhere without it. Flame through. I see you carry Cain of Notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the devious Raccoonus? That was my plan at first. But now I'm more interested in putting an end to your avalanche extortion racket. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless village in snow? You are a thief, just like me. No, that's only half right. I am a thief from a long line of master thieves. While you, you're just a frustrated firework artist turned homicidal pyromaniac. Insolent child. You shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still... To honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique, Flame Foo. Yay, Flame Foo! How do you know what we're supposed to do against him, honestly? I guess we can just hop up closer to him. Fiery wheel! Fiery wheel! Fiery wheel! Point? So yeah, his is literally just normal combat, but we gotta avoid fireballs to get to him. Fiery wheel! Fiery wheel! Dude, that's not a very good technique. Boink! Well, he's pretty much halfway done. I haven't really had to use any techniques on the guy. Booming chop! Fiery wheel! Booming chop! Homing chop, really? Doesn't really seem like it homes in much. Like, see what I mean? This boss is just so much easier than the last two. Booming chop! Palms off! I don't even know what he was supposed to do there, but... 
Like, I think that it would have been cool to have, like, a damage upgrade meter on your cane, but at the same time... Oh, what is with the cute face there, man? And he's dead. Your skill with that cane is unparalleled. <laughs> Pandas aren't always cute. Sly, I did a cross analysis of the metal used in that high-tech blasting vehicle, and it turns out it can only be found in one place. The Krakatoa volcano in Russia. That's got to be where we'll find the fifth member of the Fiendish Five. So get what you came for and let's get out of here! Okay. The Panda King section of the Thievius Raccoonus gave me a chance to learn about my technically minded ancestor, Otto Van Cooper. Not known for his physical dexterity, Otto relied on vehicles to aid him in his criminal endeavors. Armed with his designs, I was sure Murray would be able to make some cool modifications to the team van. A frustrated Inspector Fox, having missed me coming down the mountain, threw the Panda King in jail, thus putting an end to his avalanche protection services and ensuring the safety of mountain villages throughout China. My gang yeah, took a little it. time off and did some shopping in Hong Kong. Thoroughly relaxed, we headed home to plan our next move. Well, that went well. Only took one damage on that boss. But see, when I was reading the uh, guide, it said "fire in the sly," not "fire in the sky." Okay, Jeez Louise. partner, this is here it. we go, guys. A trip to Clockworks Lair. The last part. See you guys.